Hello and welcome. I am here with Darcy and today we're going to be looking at how to sing Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. So the song, it's amazing. There's so much like drama and nuance and big notes. So we thought that we would go through some of the highlights of the song so that we can help you to, if you want to, imitate some of Olivia's style, plus get through all of those big notes with ease. So let's dive in. All right, so step one, we're just gonna begin because that's what you gotta do to get started. <laughs> so one of the things that I've noticed about the song right at the gates. It's no, a hot tip. It's a hot tip. You always have to start. Start. So step one, begin. She starts with like, she's got vocal fry. So. What's vocal fry? Instead of like, I got my driver's license last week. She's more like, I got my driver's license last week. There's this like, I'm like, yeah. The chords are just barely coming together, edgy, unfinished, it's, we call it a fry. Yeah. And <clears throat> I think it's where she is using this kind of microphone to record with, it picks up every nuance. Okay, so you really she's hear it? She's really believing what she's singing in the first verse, and so it's, it's sort of a pensive, sad, r regretful kind of... It brings you into the moment. Remorseful, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. So to practice that, you could just like... Uh, uh, Mm. Even, yeah, the mouth closed. Mm, mm, mm. And so you can bring that to the beginning of some of the words. So it's really easy to grab some of that fry on the eye. I got my driver's license last, like last, you heard there, last week. Just like we always talked about. And that's the other thing I noticed. She like drops off her words. Instead of about. She's just speaking, singing, just. Just barely singing the yeah. song in the first verse. Yeah. Sets the mood. It does set the mood. So kind of keep that in mind. So this, I think, is really important just to rail the gates that you, this is an emotional song, so hold that. Um, her approach, she's got that fry, she's kind of dropping off the words, and that really contributes to, like, you kind of, like, want to lean in and pay attention. Hmm. So we'll keep going with the correct chords. Because you were so excited for me to finally drive up to your house. That's the other thing. She uses yours. Uses her R's. R's, which usually I tell you not to do, but in this case, it, it, it does work. And I think it's because the, the R is at the end of the word. So instead of like having an R at the beginning or the middle of the word where it closes things down, it's sort of at the end and it cuts the word off, which is what she's doing. And she's not in a place vocally where it's it's going to be unstable anyways. So. It works because it's just mm -hmm. kind of here in easy, easy land. And it's her style. It's her style. At the end of the day, I feel like you kind of get to throw some technique things out the window when it comes Usually, to style. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Finally drive up to your house, but today I drove through the suburbs crying because you weren't around. I feel like I'm singing this fairly correctly, but that's basically what's happening in the verses. Well, and you sing it to suit you. Like, you have to identify with the lyric, make it yours, and, and tell the story. Yeah, and so that means when you sing it, of course we're giving you tips for how to sound a little bit more like Olivia, but you're gonna make it your own too, because you're gonna have your own story and your own connection to this song that's gonna make it uniquely yours. Okay, so we're gonna skip ahead to the chorus of the song, because the verses, once you've got that little bit of fry and you play with your errs, <laughs> and you kind of drop off your words, you're going to be golden through the verses. The trickiest part for me in this song is when we get into this, um, I know we were perfect, but I never felt this way for no one. That's tricky to sing. Mm -hmm. So, what you got for me, Darcy? Let's get some tips. Well, first of all, let's uh, let's put it on a semi-occluded vocal track position. Mm -hmm. Like, ooh. Yeah, and what I want you to do is press into your cheeks, like wind in the sails, and keep it consistent, like you're decorating a cake and it has to be smooth. It's never smooth when I decorate a cake. Well, that's why you're going to use this new, this this new move. New move. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's just get to solve your cake problems <laughs> and your singing problems. It's a figure of speech. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so the bubble? Yeah, no, no I want you Straw? to go. So position the larynx now when you get to the, the is it D? Yes. Yeah, get to, can you get to, towards that, I want you to maybe lower the larynx a little so bit. So think like a little dopey. Yeah. That was much easier. Now try it slightly bratty. Yeah, like this? Yeah, see if that can, Kay. see which one's easier to. So 
it, now it could be that you're gonna back off a little bit more when you're singing in open vowels. Okay. Um, let's do um, wee wee. Wee wee. You thought you were singing driver's license, but today we're singing wee wee. It's French for yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> wee wee, like that? Yes. Now I'm laughing, okay. Wee 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 wee. On the D, try a little bit more ooh on your E. See if that changes. Wee, 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 wee. Yeah. Wee. Wee, 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 That felt much better. What felt much better? Now, put a G in front of it saying gee. Okay. Gee, 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 it felt like it was so much more there. I almost had to back off a bit because that vibrato kicked in. I was like, what's happening? Yeah. So, so it's good. So vibrato equals balance. Vibrato equals balance. Now let's sing the lyric. Okay. I know we were perfect, but I never felt this way for no one. Not bad, right? Well, it's not bad. Let's look at way. 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 Spell it W-A-E, way. W-A-E. Way. Like that? Yeah, no way. Okay. I know we were perfect, but I never felt this way for no one. Felt, felt it, felt it, felt it, T-H-I-H. Felt this way for no one. That was mm -hmm. easy. This way for no one. Yeah. Now, don't stylize it this time. Sing it with a little more oomph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. she does the style thing where she kind of like lets it flip. Yeah, so find your way first through. So find the connections. Okay. And you might, I mean, you might press down a little bit more. It might be a little bit louder than emotionally you want it to be. And then do that a few times. Establish the connection. Then you can refine it. So it's about finding it first, and mm -hmm. then you can stylize. Yeah. Okay, all right. I know we were perfect, but I never felt this way for no one. And that still works, because it's really saying what the lyric is it's intended there. to deliver. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to soften it up once I got comfortable there, I never felt this way. I could soften it. Yeah. Who? Think who. Who? Like, who? And put way Ooh, in. Now put way. way. Yeah. Way. There you go. Way. Oh, that felt really good. I know we were perfect, but I never felt this way for no one. Yeah. And then this next line, she goes like crazy. It's just big. Okay. I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. Something mm. like that. Okay, that's a big one. Gone. Gun. Think gun. Gun? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Think the, no. uh. So uh. gun. Okay. <clears throat> I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. Well, that felt really good. Was okay too aggressive? It, well, is it? Well, she sings it at a belt, but I was worried that wasn't like stable sounding. How do you want it to sound? Like really good. Like, what is good? Like, you want it to be really big? Like, yeah, big. Well, then make it bigger. Ah? Uh, wider? You can, always, you can always, you can try that. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, add a little bit of ah. Uh. Okay. It'll change that, that form. In. I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. What's okay? Oh, oh. It's that D. Oh, eh, oh, eh. Let's get the path of least resistance between Oy. these two vowels. Oy. There. What the heck was that? That was it. Mm -hmm. So there's just too much movement. It's like it's like the stairs too big. Oh, that has happened sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now that I'm gone. A little crack there, but the rest was great. The crack is fine. It's, it's emotion. It's emotional, yeah. That was intentional. I was being mm -hmm. emotional. Or it's the brownie you had earlier. I, don't I did know have a brownie. <laughs> I do like sweets. Be so okay now that I'm gone. Yeah. Yes. Now, guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. I didn't hear anything 
I'm terrible with that. So she's you kind of going for say it. Say the words. Guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. You, is it didn't or didn't? Didn't. You didn't mean. I'll get rid of the T. Yeah, get rid of it. You didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. Oh, that's so much easier to get through without the mm -hmm. T. So there's basically two words. You didn't mean what you wrote in that song yeah. about me. So it's like all this together and then this little guy right over yeah. here. Mm -hmm. You didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. About me. You didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. All right, cleans it up just a little bit because you got two thoughts. Two thoughts. Two concentrations. This guy here and then this yeah. little afterthought. Mm -hmm. Cause you said forever, now I drive. There's that vocal fry alone past your street. And there's that style where you like kind of stop those words short. Yeah. That's driver's license. <laughs> now you're going somewhere. Now you're going somewhere. <laughs> okay, so that's driver's license. Well, that's, that's the highlights of driver's license. So I feel like we've covered some of the style Olivia Rodrigo used. I feel like we've covered how you can navigate the high notes. And I think it's really great to see, you know, I've been singing most of my life since I could really make sound and I've taken voice lessons and I've, and I've taught and I still have to spend time ironing out parts of songs. That's part of being a singer. And it's really important to remember that. So I had to exercise it and in a perfect world, I would have gone away and spent a couple days doing those things mm. that we just did here. Well, think about what she would have done. Yeah. Writing the song, arranging the song, and then eventually recording the song, producing the song, and then taking it home and learning it. <laughs> yeah. Right, so she had to go through the very same process that you should be doing when you're learning a new song. Yeah, so yeah, you can sit down, you can sing a song and have a ton of fun, but when it comes to like the work of really refining something, you do, you need to spend the time. And after you've done all the work, it's really important to remember to connect to the emotion of the song. Um, that's what's gonna take your performance of it and knock it out of the park. If you believe what you're singing, if you're applying emotion to what you're doing, all the difference. Done. Done. Done like Sold. dinner. Sold. All right, friends, thank you so much for spending some time with us. I hope you enjoyed this. Happy practicing, and we'll see you next time.